Welcome back, guys. We're here for the final part of tonight's mm -hmm. show, I think. Yeah. So, yes. yeah, no more breaks. Just all the way to the end. Travis, take it away. All right. So you guys wake up the next morning and head to Llewellyn's. Um, and Nina's and, dead. And Nina's dead. Slaughtered yes, in her it's sleep. It's okay. I'm allowing a nervous nothing to kill everyone. It's all good. She yeah. left a note. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> So you guys head over there and uh, head in. Durian, my friend, good to see you again. You what know, can I do always, for you today? Your smile is always brighter when I fill your pockets, Llewellyn. You know it, buddy. Uh, we have uh, something to show you, I think. And uh, another I proposition to offer. Things. Yes. Should, uh, should we handle this first or the uh, papers you brought me? Yes, the papers actually. Ah, Most well. In that. Um, he uh, nods to his assistant and says, "I'll be in the private room. Come along, come along." Not so, everybody. what are you bringing me today? He uh, ushers you into like a small waiting room. Fun. You want to oh, show? Oh, 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 oh! That's right. Good. I almost forgot what you're talking about for a second there, Dorian. Brace yourself, I, uh... Llewellyn. This is Fawn is bearing herself. Yeah, and Fawn, I. Oh, really, my dear? Your soul or something else? Something else. And uh, excellent. Yeah, pull out the rapier <laughs> immediately excellent. to make sure that's the point that gets yeah. Across. Um, and Fawn, why don't you actually give me a d20 as well? Plus your intelligence. Or minus. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not plus or minus. Okay. <laughs> I was like, fuck, that might... Oh, whoa! Oh! That's 20! Oh! oh okay. Lucky Buddha! Cool! I'm so happy. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, the, the light in uh, um, uh, Lord Tegan's office was a bit dim. Durian and, and Nina were kind of looking at the, uh, the rapier more... Um, and I, I have a feeling Durian might have just been like, we'll figure it out tomorrow, guys, and took it in his room with him or something. <laughs> but um, this is, uh, as you're pulling it out, you're seeing it more clearly uh, uh, like, dang, in the this light. thing is sexy. And it is it. sexy. <laughs> and you actually notice uh, what the blade is made of. Um, so you would have a chance to know this because you fought uh, against the dwarves and their minions. Constructs. Constructs. Um, so you've seen blades like this before. It is made out of adamantine. I it was is, oh, it is hard enough to puncture even the toughest armor. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, so Durian, you, you notice this. this as you pull out the sword. So <laughs> Durian, I need this. <laughs> what? Um For reasons. <laughs> uh Ooh, may I, my dear? You may, Llewellyn, as I you know, like look at it like this. Yeah, he, he holds out I his mean. hand, takes the sword. And, ooh, beautiful construction. Adamantine blade. This can pierce the toughest of armor. Uh, sapphire crystal hilt. Interesting construction. I haven't, uh, haven't seen something like this before. Looks like a bit of silver and electrum to finish up the uh, handguard. He uh he kind of stands up and sort of flourishes it a little bit and says, "Hmm, very well balanced. A beautiful weapon. I dare say magical." Dare you say it? <laughs> Please say it. Yes. <laughs> I uh I, I notice <laughs> I notice an aura on it. I I was caught off by its beauty, Llewellyn. But um, this was our um recent payment. Ooh, I uh. By the way, did you actually scan it at all, Durian, or are you just saying no, that? No, okay. I'm just saying that. Cool. Fawn's ah, eyes well. are just, like, bulging, like, I want this, I need this. <laughs> yes, it's, it's beautiful indeed. A shame you only have one. I'm sure each of you would like one of these. And before you ask, no, that is not within my power. Um, <laughs> Yet. I, I will... <laughs> yeah. one in five and how much would it cost to get that within your power, Llewellyn? Um... Let's just say it's beyond my means right now. Can you transmogify it into a sack? I kid. I'm, I'm sorry? I'm making a joke. Never mind. 
No. Yeah, no. I, did, I I assume unless unless you say something, you're speaking, and I'm like, I'm sorry, my dear. I I can't transform this into a scythe. Uh, the way Fonalyn's <laughs> looking at it, she may very well murder you if I did. <laughs> well, well, and we'd like this to get identified by you. Um, though we may keep it please. if it's if it's as uh, valuable as Fon it is. thinks it is. It is. Sentimental for a weapon already, my dear. Yes. You haven't been bewitched by it, have you? No. I've looked at it before, and I just took it out again. So he he laughs. He's like, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> so Vaughn is like very serious about this. Like, I want this. I want this <laughs> thing. I need it. Uh, well, need and he uh, he slides the rapier in the uh, 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 in, the, in the sheath and sets it back in the box and closes it. I could uh, have this ready for you in a, about an hour after we're done with everything else. Trust me, this is this is something I'm curious about as well. That would be great. An hour is great. To but like. yes, uh, papers. Right, right. Um, so he uh, pulls out because you left the papers with him. Pulls them out and says, "All right. Well, I got this last night from a friend, and uh, out of a breast pocket on his robes, he pulls a uh, scroll." unrolls it and says, um, I suppose I'll have to transcribe this myself. All right, one second. And he uh, heads out, grabs some uh, paper and a uh, an ink well and a quill. I offer, and, uh, I offer to help him if there's anything I can do. Um, I haven't figured out what these things say exactly, so... <laughs> It's okay. going to be. He will. He will transcribe it for you, um, and we'll, we'll give you the gist. Like how many papers is that? Is that going to take long? Like I'm. I'm not entirely certain I'll be able to do all of these today with this one spell. Um, Find out what they point to, Llewellyn, and we'll maybe continue later. Let's yes. Is, the, is there anything you want me to prioritize? The ones with pictures. The ones without. I don't know what any of them mean, so... Well, um, this one had a cross on it, and that point to this particular one. Uh, that's yes, a T. This... That's a T, Nina. No, no, it's, it's actually it's a lowercase crossed T. out. It's a crossed out picture, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Start... There's Smart as ass. good as any... Yeah, I know. Um, there's as, an, as any... Uh, a good as any place, uh, well and um, let, Just, you know... See if there's a puzzle here that's worth exploring. Ah, very well, very well. Um, and he starts casting a spell. Um, and he uh, immediately Roll for initiative. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna power attack you. No, just kidding. No. Um, <laughs> so he starts dipping his uh, quill in his inkwell and uh, starts writing down. And says, "Yes. Um, let's see here. Uh." Uh, Gimbal, um, looks like Gnomish Merchant. No, I'm sorry, uh, it's a fee So, do you guys remember what the pictures were of? Because I don't want to contradict myself There was a dwarf people? in one picture, I think. I don't remember the pictures at all. No, it was a gnome, it was a gnome, sorry. I, th I was think not... it was a female yeah, gnome and it was a... a male human, right? I, I, I remember so. the female gnome, because you said it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but you assume it's a female. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, let's see here. Uh, yes, he starts reading uh, as rapidly as it can. It says, um, uh, apparently this is uh, a picture of a woman named uh, Madeira. Um, she was a merchant uh, from, from uh, 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 it says here, um, I don't recognize the city name, but uh, it's somewhere in Ariadnish. Uh, apparently there was a, uh, a shipment of spices? Uh, it seems that, um, oh my, uh, it details uh, some of her habits, um, um, what she does, where she goes, times, who she meets with. Um, the second part in handwriting, uh, is a detail of her killing. 
Oh. What have you gotten yourself into, Darian? <laughs> um. Uh. Yes. Apparently, someone caught her uh, on a nightly stroll past a well and um, murdered her. Threw her in. Uh, kill confirmation. Me that thing. Kill confirmation. Uh, two thousand gold. Damn. Oh my God, Seems like a, a contract for a hit. Oh my God! I was right. Uh, let me let me see this other one. Um, um, uh, Thomas Albright, um, uh, low level lord from Taurus. Uh, whereabouts? Yada yada. Um, Restwood. I've been there before. Uh, habits. Um, uh, looking for agent to dispatch. Um, from Taurus, you said. Uh, Taurus, Travis. yes. Uh, some kind of minor lord. Um, seems he uh, is a lord of a fishing village on a lake. It's this one, uh, agent dispatched. Uh, let's see, oh, that would have been about six weeks ago. It would be mighty hard to get into Taurus at this point. Hmm. hmm. Um, details, details, uh, family not to be harmed, um, price 4,700 gold. Dang. Um, uh, hmm. Llewellyn. All right. Llewellyn. Yes. That's enough. Are, uh, are you sure? I can probably get one more sheet of, of whatever this is. Um, or is can, knowledge dangerous at this point? You can look into it, but I, I have an idea about what this is now. Okay. Um, let me look through these real quick. Uh, descriptions, directions, uh, supplies. Um, I'm not reading any identifying anything except for those two names. Just agents, uh, agent. Nothing uh, else that I see that directly points to Llewellyn. People. Yes. Is there any indication... Of who is taking out these contracts? Nope. No. No names. I contacts. Llewellyn, Llew Nina, that's that's okay. Um, Llewellyn, thank you. This is most helpful. It's enlightening in its own way, though it offers more puzzles about where we got it from. Well, that's your business. Um, and he uh, sets the papers down, closes up his inkwell, and you notice the glow that had come to his eyes when he cast the spell fades. Yeah. I have to admit, I still don't know what language this is. It's a secret the spell language. only allows me to read it, not identify it. It's a... I would imagine... I don't know anything of it, but it, I would imagine it's a... a language designed to only be read by those who... have accepted um, such contracts. Can I do, like... Okay, Allison knows this, but Fawn might oh. not. Can I see if I would know what Thieves Cant is? Yeah. Um. Because I don't want to meditate. No, you have no background in that. Okay. Yeah. Thieves Cant is that like an actual different language, or is just a way to like? Yeah. It's it's, it's like a stuff. way around like, words. It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a way around saying what actually happened. Yeah. It's like a, the, it's like speaking, right. but so, like, not. It, I mean, yeah, if, so it wouldn't be so, like a written language that like you wouldn't be able to see. No. Yeah, Thieves Cant is. Pig Latin and it's you know misdirection. So, it's gen. It's not yeah. written. Yeah. It's just like um, you, you see National Treasure where like there's the cipher. It's basically like yeah. this is a secret. Llewellyn, yes. when you read it, did you see any um, indication or at least hint of um, where notification of completed contract should be sent to? No. No. There weren't any names or locations. It all all it said was um, the place, contract or contact. Excuse me, um, agent, agents. Rather vague. Is there any magic we can use to like if this? If this if this piece of paper was written or belonged to someone, there is. Track them we've used it via before. something. There is. We've used it before, Kevin. That's how we found the chimera. 
Uh, what spell would that be, my dear? Some sort uh, of scrying. The way she called it scrying? I'm not mm. sure if that's what the process is or if that's the spell. That's what she defined it as. I'm, I don't know, I'm not a wizardy type. Uh, I'm not sure that would work, my dear. I. <sighs> it's a very difficult spell if you don't know the people that were in possession of this. Mm. Do um, you... were... Hmm. We don't... We just it's possible, but... I, I suppose the issue is what happens if there's multiple owners of it. Because I, I assume the owner gave it to them and then we've taken it from them. That brings a whole issue. I, I start to bundle friendship. up the papers and uh, stick them back in my bag. And I'm say, okay. Llewellyn, I think we have some um, more interesting business in this. This is a, a puzzle, and... Um, well, it, it is certainly a, a spell I could try for you, my dear, but um, it would be expensive, and I can't guarantee it works. It would be... It's your money. I'm, I'm happy to try, but... Nina, I don't think in this case that the spell yeah. would be particularly profitable. I, I, I think there's too many issues and constraints to do it. And I don't know... I think we've stumbled upon something that we did not expect to find, and I have an idea of what this is, but... Um, yeah, Llewellyn, I also you'll, have a feeling. Llewellyn, you'll forgive me if we um, go on to You other are... Places. Of course. Uh, I don't mind being left out of such dealings. Let's just say not my type of business. It's not ours either. Let's just say that it's uh, been coincidental run-ins in the past, and uh, I have an idea, but and maybe you do too at this point. But He nods sagely and says, Darian, I've never been a big believer in coincidence. So, that sword! Yes, that please, sword and... please identify it. And another transaction. And tell me, tell me all about it. I'm so excited. Of course, Fawn. Of course. Um. He uh, opens the door and uh, calls out, "Galen, br bring me one of the uh, the pearls and some wine and an owl feather and a cup, please." And some wine. Cup, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna use my hands. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, if you'll uh, just leave me in here for about an hour, I should be able to. Uh, pop this off quick. You were saying, though, Durian? Luan, um, I'm gonna, I think, take on some modifications of, uh, Nina's scythe here, and, uh, uh, you know, repay you for the services, but I'd like to use your, you know, your lab, if you'd be willing. Uh, well, yes, of course. How long would you need it for? What type well, of need... modification? Mm, it's going to take about at, at least eight hours, if not two days' worth. But I'd like to get started today while we're here. Uh, yeah, so you explain what you want to do, and that's actually going to take eight days. Eight days. So I explain what I want to do, and he's like, no, 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 that'll take eight days. And I say, yep. oh. Well, uh, I'd, like to t I'd like to take that on, and we'll discuss a price for usage of time and services and retainer fees, obviously. But... Uh, of course, that's a, 50 gold a, a day was what I was thinking, so 400 for something like this. Fair enough. Do we have eight days, though? No, we don't. But Nina, why don't we let Llewellyn do the work that we're asking of him, and we'll talk about this separately. Yes, yes. I'm very curious to see. Happy, happy drinking, friend. He smiles and uh, gestures to the door, starts yeah, yeah. crushing up a pearl. <laughs> cool. So you guys just uh, chill out for uh, an hour. Um, yeah, and, uh, I, I take the party aside after 15, 10 minutes maybe, and I'm like, guys? Yes. Somehow we have a, in our possession a contract log, I think, from the Dina and Naya. Yeah, the sonic cry. Oh, like, I, had, oh. I had a gut feeling oh. as well. The question is why? Why was it in possession of the people we were with? Maybe the part of the silent cry. And we just killed two out of three of their agents. If it was a silent cry, we wouldn't have, uh -huh. well, we wouldn't three have killed three or four people. 
No, it wouldn't have been that easy. Well, I mean, they did some. They did quite a number on us. If you didn't notice, and we've killed a dragon. I don't think the. I don't think they may be able to kill a dragon, but hell, they beat the shit out of us. These, this is an organization that's secretive enough that they would not identify their... This is contract instructions. It doesn't instruct um, who's making the buy and where the money goes to. I mean, there could just be some hired underlings for the Silent Cry, in which case they're not going to come after us. Exactly. Most of them are dead. I'm not worried about the hired underlings. I'm worried the fact that we've put ourselves in possession of something that is... I'll admit I'm curious about. Well, there's, there's nothing it, to it. There's no identifying? There might be. If I mean, if we could it, find documents written... Dean and, I, Dean and I are not. I don't. There's no need to get mixed up in this stuff. I was going to say, like... We are like, do we really actually want to even go any further with this? One, once we cross the line, there is no return. This is dark stuff. Let's and, burn it. Let's burn it. Put it and, behind us. No, I, I we don't. Escape. We don't Let's burn, burn it. it. No, we don't oh, burn it. What, what do we do with it then? We just burn it. I don't to, want to carry it. Burn it or turn it's over to Lord Tegan. It's code language that has nothing to do that that even Llewellyn couldn't decipher immediately. It's something that. Doesn't need anything to anybody at first. Okay. Let's hang on to it until we unravel unravel this puzzle. There's something to this. Do we want to there's... unravel this puzzle? I don't think so, to be honest. I don't think most we of have, us do, Dorian. We have plenty of puzzles we need to unravel and begin with. Yes, and... Like the dwarves. This, no... The gnomes. They just look at you with, like... Stuff can, come, like... stuff can come up this is interesting. Stuff can come up with this that is possibly financial gain, but it's too it's it's dark enough where I don't want to go down that path. We're not yeah, going down a path, we're finding thing. out information. That's going down the path. Yeah. It's not going down and the it, path. No, Caven's right, it's going down the path. And Guys, we may already path. be on this path. Let's get uh, off. Travis. Yes, let's let's get off this ride because we don't want to be on it, I don't think. Travis, so. I am, I bring out the note that I have. Oh, have you not shown that to anyone? He's not shown it to us. No, yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so uh, say, Durian pulls out a uh, a small note from uh, <laughs> a strip of paper. It's it's something that I've like, had. It's paper. not even on my character sheet, but I've always known I've had it. Yeah. Um, and I say, um, so when we went after Venric and our lead took us to the quote unquote Dean and Naya, um, after that matter was resolved with him, um. At one point, I found this in my pocket. Soon after, we concluded the matter. And, and would I you showed like to it. read it out to them. Uh, uh, yeah, I read it out, and it essentially says, um, "Travis, I didn't write down the exact note, and I don't have a handout, but it says the effect oh. of." Um, um, it's actually it in a picture. picture. It's in a picture. It should I be believe. in a picture. Oh right! Uh, look at the uh, imager. Give me a sec. I'll find it. Yeah. yeah, if you could, if you could just post it, I remember the the gist of it says um, we have uh, we do not we we do not have any have yeah, yeah, had, I got, I got have you, nothing I got to you. do with mystery Benric, notes. Um, but should you ever require our services, let us know. Yeah, I remember it because I laughed my ass off. <laughs> it was great. Ah, so Durian, why don't you uh, read it out? I say um. I say two. Sir Durian, King's Draconis, or a Nice Draconis of Palatinus, it has recently come to our attention that you were intentionally misled to thinking our organization is involved <laughs> with a certain man you encountered in a nearby port city. We would like to assure you that said man does not now, nor has ever represented the interests of our group. We apologize for any confusion and would like to know that should you ever require our brand of services, we would be happy to do business. DN, Dean and I am. Well, it seems that they're grateful that we got rid of their fake wannabe person. Doesn't mean that we're involved with them. Yeah. <laughs> we trust that road yet. And um, is there fire nearby, Travis? Um, yeah. The city's uh, on fire. Are you guys just in Llewellyn's? Yeah, is yeah. there a Bunsen burner or some sort um, of like? Yeah, I, I mean the shop's heated. It's still a bit cool for spring, so. 
Yeah, I I toss yeah, the paper a... in and burn it. Okay. Okay. Just Not the to... note or all toss the, the others? No, no, just just the note. Toss the others along with it. Well, I say no. I, I, I agree with Durian that we don't need to toss the others in it. At the same time, we don't need to pursue it. This is good to have. <sighs> there's no there's no need to have. Guys, think a little bit more flexibly for a moment. We have information mm. that could have been turned over to the lords of CN. It came to us. I'm not saying we're extorting or blackmailing the Dean and Naya, but perhaps this is information they would want to have back in their possession. Well, if it's, I mean, if it's just a log of stuff, they, they're going to burn it anyways. It's well, log that indicates proof that they were involved in certain murders. Well, Durian, there's no, one it indicates there. nothing, no proof. It indicates that someone was killed by someone for money. Written by the same incomprehensible language that apparently nobody with dwarvish language skills can read. It could be proof to leading people to be able to decipher their secret code language. So, Durian, what languages do you speak? You don't even know if they common, speak elven, code. dwarven, goblin, draconic, and sylvan. So much. Okay. So, um... Uh, Caben, have you looked at these papers at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You recognize it's a dwarven script as well. Um, you can tell that it is not dwarven. Uh, it is not dwarven, orc, or goblin. They all use the same, like, basic alphabet. Yeah. Though certainly differences in it. Oh. So it looks dwarven, but it's not dwarven. Yep. Okay. It's. Even I mean, it's we... like it's like. Uh, English and French use the same alphabet. Uh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Durian, even if we turn this over to the Council of Lord Tegan, he can't do anything about it because it's not happening. In Sian, this one happened, what, to the north, and this one guy was from Taurus? It's still in Taurus? He's dead. What is he going to do with it anyway? There might be more. He only looked at a couple. My point is, My point is this. I think I know where these. I, I think I know where these came from. I'm not saying we use these for nefarious ends, but I am saying that this is an important something. Why was this amongst the goods? A lot of that stuff were due to amongst the goods for Lady it. Nefish. Look, the, the, why the, why would low level thieves during, and during, brigands? Oh no, during, you misunderstand something here. This wasn't part of Lord uh, Lady Nefish's cargo. I found these in the building, and I rescued it along with her belongings. No, he knows that. No, I got that, but the same people, this, this, what I'm saying is this may be, do you guys remember the talk I gave you? Yes. It's not about op one? opportunism. <laughs> it's not about, <laughs> it's just about saying is that the rewards are greater if we uncover mysteries that are more valuable than people even discover. And we have. But we were of sent those after. We want this one. We I don't know if we want this one. We were sent after some thieves who took some cargo off a road, and we found people being smuggled out of the country. And that we wasn't found, our intent. And we found apparently. I lowered my voice. Contracts, contract completions of. The Dean and Naya. No. Well, you know what? You Durian, can hold you on to that. You have no idea that that's it. <laughs> oh, and You're even connecting that, way Durian. too many dots. Look, if it exactly. is, if it is, and as you say, maybe it will be of use. You want to like give it back to them or something? It's it's like they want it. What about they... them? It's about finding out more and then. No, you keep on saying it's not about them, but then you bring up, oh, maybe they want it back. But it's about them. It's, like, if it's not about them, then get rid of it. Look, the thing is, if if we hold on to it, and for some reason you do encounter Which them, don't want to. and you say, hey, look, I got your stuff, they're going to laugh at you and say, what what do we need that GG. for? Or, or guess what? Maybe us. someday we're going to get thrown in prison again for funny little things that we do, and what are they going to find in our bodies? A contract for kill Contracts people. they can't Not read the for a good reason. It wouldn't be Not written down if nobody else could read it. It wasn't that hard for us to get it read. They, we went to our local mage Every, friend. They can do it in everyone. possibly... Not any city, but any reasonable city. Nina, what do you have to say? I, I agree with Kaven on this one. You're overthinking it. The reason why they had this in their possession 
the reason why they were smuggling people, the reason why they took her cargo, they're trying to make a profit. They're trying to make money. Just that's the whole thing. Ditch it. We, we have you, you have your suspicions. We know roughly what it's about. If you want to examine it further, then let's do that. But let's get rid of it. It does us no good. I can't do that, Caden. No, you won't do it. This is your problem. We... No, I can't do it because I think it's too. It's more important than you give me credence for. Are we agreed that everyone besides Dorian does not want to pursue this at this point? We're not pursuing we... anything. I'm just saying we hold Dorian's on. Dorian's the only person who's really or, interested in it. Or, the rest or of us be quite are frank not. to ever mention it again. I don't want to pursue this ever. Party Virch. I'm not giving these papers up. Well, then you hold on to them, and well, if something you, happens, you it's your issue. Them. Fair exactly. Enough. Nina, what Nina, Nina. Fair enough. Problem solved. Moving on well, to the next issue. We want to have them do this. This I, I, I <laughs> opened so my uh, extra extra dimensional um, hole and popped the pig <laughs> Hey, I mean, whatever you want to tell your, uh, whatever you want to call your drug smuggling area, <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah. This is my pocket. Yeah. So cool. You guys uh, debate that for probably about uh, an, an hour, hour. and yeah. uh, <laughs> Llewellyn comes out and says, "Gentlemen, ladies, you're gonna wanna see this." Oh, oh boy, I'm excited. Oh, this will be interesting. So he um, sits you down and tells you, uh, "Well, this is a beautiful weapon. It's exquisitely made. It's, it's." Uh, obviously the work of a master craftsman um, it's not magical at all <laughs> ah, <laughs> I got you guys I got you guys damn it Luol uh, why are you the first I Travis, like, you a playful punch like, no, I said I technically did that. did that never mind Travis yes so if you guys look in a handout you uh, will see a description of the weapon it is an exquisitely crafted rapier made of oh. archer hard <laughs> adamantine ostentatious an, weapon carries plus a plus three, three oh. enhancement oh, fuck, uh, and really its construction brilliant. makes it That's sharp that. enough to pierce the uh, toughest armor um, decorated with a crystal hilt, silver, and electrum guard, single large sapphire into the tail. Nice. Can you yeah. relink it? I, <laughs> some, I, at some point I closed real quick. It's in the handout. Oh, okay. It's called Lady Nefish's Rapier. Yeah, but uh, of, of course it's a I, I look at I look at Fawn real quick and I'm like, so Llewellyn. Uh, I want this much, so bad. How much no, did you no, offer for no, such no, a fine no, weapon? Keeping. No, Durian, no. Just it appears Either your you're friends using it or do I'm not using want it. I want to Fawn can wield it. Fawn can wield it. I want them to know how much it's worth before we keep it with us. I don't need Luan. to know. If you don't mind. I just want to wield you it. You don't need to. Luan, please. Indulge <laughs> us. Fawn, Nina, you oh. can leave the room if you wish. I would like to no. hear it. Uh, Actually, before before you say that loud, I'm going to type what I think is an estimate of what it is. To no, no, don't, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 don't, Josh, don't ruin oh, Travis's what? thunder you, you here. DM like no, no, no. no. no, no, no. I mean, this is I Travis's just... thunder. Travis's Josh. thunder. You're no. dampening I wanted to make a thunder. guess without. I wanted Josh. to make a guess without Josh. revealing it. Nope, Josh. Let him build the suspense. <laughs> now I didn't have it pulled up. God damn it, you guys. <laughs> Travis, um, we set you up so hard there. <laughs> I know. For so, this should totally be in there. I want uh, this. I want I it. Would, I would uh, be willing to take this off your hands for ten thousand gold. Nope, not taking it off <laughs> my dead hands. <laughs> this is not leaving my dead okay, hands. Okay, okay, fine. Twelve. D this Durian, Durian, Durian slumps against the table and is this like, "This isn't leaving my dead hands, Durian." Guys, I I dare say if your hands were dead, it would leave. But no, <laughs> you don't understand, Llewellyn. I don't know your death grip. I come might back be. from of course, the dead for this. Give it to All me. All right, I could I could go maybe, and you're robbing me blind here. Maybe fifteen. No. Fifteen thousand. No. <laughs> oh no. my Durian, god. Durian, Durian's looking at Llewellyn and like looking at Caven is like. <laughs> no. Well, I'm. No. I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid that's my best offer. Llewellyn, that's. I've got to be able to make a profit on it. Yeah, Llewellyn, this is an incredibly generous offer, and we thank you. Um, 
We're gonna go talk about it as a group, and um, Juan is just like, give it to me. Nah. <laughs> and consider. He, he, kind of he kind of hesitates for a second, and he sets it back in the case and slowly closes it. Of course. Llewellyn, just as a, a point of reference, how often do you have um, adamantine, you called it? How often do you have weapons made of adamantine come into your possession? It's not something that's found around here very often. Um, I believe your friends make it that way, my dear, he says, nodding to Fonlin. <clears throat> Fawn? What? You holding out? I want it. Fawn? She can have it. I want it. What's he mean? <laughs> uh, Fawn, you, 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 like you know that... Yeah, you know that uh, the deep dwarves do everything they can to keep this shit from hitting the market. I want this. Because it's good against their stuff. <laughs> I so, want this. Not metagaming this, but using it for, um, like... Literally the experience of like the last week where she we saw the golems and she says she really wants it. I'm gonna say, would it have, have something to do with those weird things? Fun. Yes. I want to figure this much. Fun. Why do you want this weapon? Why do you think I want this weapon? Look how it's... nice it is, and look what it can do. It is pretty nice, needs, Darian. If needed. I don't truly comprehend. I don't think. Because I've never seen Llewellyn bargain down that quickly before. Durian? I don't comprehend how good this weapon is. Durian, Come on. With, it's with, amazing. With, look at this. Tell me more she about it. She really Fawn. hates someone, and she really Dina, wants a weapon. You know, I want to hear from Fawn. This is important, Fawn. Fawn, where are your loyalties? Say Fawn one more time. <laughs> Say it, motherfucker. Fawn. Fawn. Say, Say, Say my name. <laughs> okay, oh, guys. Like okay. <laughs> Come on. That, okay. okay. So I, I'm, I'm like, but I'm grilling her on this. Fun. Yes, Durian. What do you see in this weapon? Convince I see me. potential. Convince us. <laughs> I see potential for me not oh. only to help the party but to help myself if need be. Because I have enemies who don't like me, and I don't like them. And I have avoided fights for the greater good of the party. Though it's been Come a little on. bit tough for me to calm down, your, but your I have. The definition of avoided part of fight, fights is, is very, very loose. The first time I did not, the second time I did. I calmed down. And then you stalked them in the, the forest party. on the way home, but... We don't know that. Did I? You don't know that. Out of character, you don't know yeah. that. Well, you I, know nothing about that. that. I, hear that, but I, I came back with some fucking elves. Actually, and, I wasn't and, 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 so I came back with myself. you showed restraint as well. Vaughn, you've, you've showed restraint, but barely contained restraint. What are you... This is to protect myself. Llewellyn... And to protect the party. We may have more to talk about tomorrow. Let's, um... May we, um, withdraw for now? Of course. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I'd like, um... I'd like to... Rent out your facilities for uh, Nina's scythe. Uh, this will be my practice, if you will, but I'll, I'll give you a fair price for it, if you will, if you don't mind. Uh, of course. Do you want to uh, start today? No, tomorrow morning. I, Very well. Do we, do we really have eight days, though? The mm. fuck are we doing otherwise? Figure I out we were heading whether up I north. can keep this rape here. I, I, will, I, will at least, I will at least make the investment to Llewellyn ahead of time, and we'll put in the time when necessary, but let's figure it out back at the inn where we can talk to Fawn here. And the, uh... What do we call them? Our escort uh, chaps? Brom? No, we, like, didn't we call them a name or something? Or, like, no, or escort it's Brom and his family of Aaliyah and Russell. No, Aaliyah like, did we... Never mind. Never mind. His pop star from the night. Never mind. Cool. So, uh, you guys head back to the inn. Um, and without doing another half hour of dialogue, can you sum up your conversation, Durian and Fawn? I, Fawn wants I, this I way. ask, I drill Fawn on what her, I say Fawn, uh, basically my point is that I'm going to go into is that Fawn, where do you come from? What is your deal? You're clearly driving at something. This is, this is from... An area. This is for a metal from your an area that you clearly have some 
beef with, but what? Where are your loyalties? So, to give it too long, I didn't read. I explained to Durian where I'm from and the conflict between my people and the Deep Dwarves, which is that they're destroying forests, they're just not good people in general, they use constructs to fight, as far as I know. Those things that we encountered on the road are constructs. This type of weapon is from those people and could easily I would ask I would ask in this harm in this them explanation blah. about where, where Fawn herself is from. Revenant. Sh yeah, she's told you. No, this. no, no. Not from, but like her background. I mean if if you couldn't tell already, military background. Who did I mean, who did you fight for? For my people. On behalf of my people. For country. our for our town, for our who country. Led, who led the country? I mean, like, I'm trying to figure out, are you going to go take this weapon? I, is that a character now? I can't but fight I'm trying by to figure myself. Out, are you going to go take... What I'm trying to drive at is question... The reason I'm asking these questions is, are you taking this sword, and you're going to run off on us, and you're going to go back to your leader and say, I've no. got a weapon to go fight the, yeah, the people so, of... No. So, no, no, no. Fawn, like, the, the whole reason you were kind of uh, adventuring yeah. was because oh, hostility is in... Sorry. Yeah, that, that, that's so, what I'm trying to figure out. Thank to you, To explain it from Fawn's point of view, the whole reason she left is because things were kind of quieting down there, and there was no longer fighting, and Fawn was kind of not bred for fighting, but more or less that's what she was looking for. To, okay. She was bred yeah. as a super soldier. Yeah, obviously. She's Captain America, but Captain Revenant, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. So she just wants... She is looking for a fight, but not, like, you know, starting fights at every bar, except for sometimes when it's necessary. Um... <laughs> So the the whole reason necessary. she left is because there was there was too much quiet. She was no longer needed, so she left to help. I guess stem fighting that was going on elsewhere, and this would be helpful for her favorite enemies, so to speak, as a ranger class. Um, okay, so I I hear this out. If need we hear this out, and I say, Fawn, you've been an asset to us and loyal to us. Yes, and I don't plan on leaving you. anytime soon. I agree. And? How do you all feel about this weapon being weighed in Fawn's hands if it's guaranteed for... I would ask that it would be guaranteed only for our use and not for her. I would be willing to give better. up the Rod of Ice to someone else in the party if I could have it. No, no, it. you can keep the Rod of Ice. Oh, okay. you, can keep the rod of, you can keep the Rod of Ice. You're okay. not going anywhere. The point is... You would only use this weapon for the benefit for the of the party. For the party, yes. And if I were to leave the party, I would return both the, the weapons I was, I was given. The dwarves are not this party's enemy, Fawn. However, if I need to defend myself from them because they know... They have I'm never, from. to my knowledge, attacked you in any way. There's only been you attacking them. Well, and there's only one instance of that. Well, and to be fair, Durian... Nina, uh, uh, Nina, no, Durian, have we ever be been assaulted by a, a group of dwarves? She was verbally assaulted first, which started the Verbally? Whole thing. That does not mean pulling out a, a special rapier to be able to pierce their throats <laughs> quicker. I'm just saying, she wasn't the one who started it. She I did agree. start it. No. No, they made fun of me first. And the first. They made fun of you, you started it. Guys. And I was drunk. Guys. It doesn't matter who started it. The question's above that. I would have finished it. No you doubt. Know, I, I agree with your assessment that there, there is multiple... The, the blame lies on two parties here. Fawn, consider yourself at this point, because of what I said last... a couple days ago... last session. A couple days ago... We are now in a higher standard, and this party is higher than all of our personal vendettas. I've set aside many personal matters for the benefit Except of for the fact the that we want you to get rid of papers, but you won't. That's not, I assure the you... The only person who seems to be against me getting this weapon is you. Whereas the rest of the party wants you to get rid of papers and you won't. So I don't see why I shouldn't get this weapon, but you can keep those papers when all of us don't want you to have them. So perhaps who's more for the party when I'm saying that I'm the not going to leave the party? And if I do, I will leave both the weapons. But you're Fawn, still in the party and you won't Fawn. give up papers that we want you to get rid of. Durian, the papers, Durian. The papers. Why don't you okay, temp the, temp the temp guys. That the was papers advocate, yeah. 
cannot slice a throat open. They are mm. leverage. But they could get us all killed. You don't know sure what enough. these papers have to do. We with. could all get ourselves killed by taking the wrong job. We're we always could all get killed be because almost... you have papers that belong to assassins. Okay, yeah. you guys continue on like this for some time, but eventually you come to the agreement that I assume Fawn can use the weapons yes. and no one's ripping <laughs> the papers out of dirty. I don't think we're done convincing yeah. it. No, I think the party vote Who are was we at least too you? Really? Okay, I'm sorry, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. Who are we convincing? No, no. You? you know what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Travis, this matters. My, my point was yeah. not that Fawn can't use the weapon, but just pointing and out that you got, Fawn. And you got, I think, the information you needed, right? Huh? You did. Yeah. What? You got all the information her... you needed. Yeah, okay. She told you. Got, that... you guys, guys. You got her background. She agreed it was for the party. Okay. I, I didn't get full agreement that it was for the party. She even, I said she if even I left the party, left, I would literally be willing to give up both the weapons I was yep. given. Okay, I didn't hear that. <laughs> okay, yes. So, you guys bicker for some... Hours, it's not uh, bickering. Well, it's just important tavern. stuff. Mm, it was, yeah. yeah, it was bickering. It's pretty much bickering. <laughs> it's pretty much bickering. Anyway, you guys get uh, back to the tavern and um, uh, enjoy a night there. I brought, I buy Bor Borian Dorian a drink. Borian. <laughs> Damn it, Borian. We don't, we don't have to role play it. We don't have to role play it. But since, since the magic wand has been waved, I, I. On getting a drink from Fawn, I I just I tell her my perspective that I buy him enough drinks that he doesn't tell me his perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I I start trying to tell I'm like, my Here's perspective. Like here's a drink, bye. But yeah. I, I go talk to you. Like oh Fawn, too much, cool. too much, and then I cool. don't get comprehensible words out. That's that's okay. fair. That's awesome. Fair. So you guys are uh, slamming drinks at the bar, um, and Durian, you're starting to get a bit tipsy. Um. Good. Uh, and as you're there, let's see. Bar's pretty much empty, actually. Uh, you guys Is are all kind some, of like sleeping dust or something. Right. I can throw you're going to try and get guys, me drunk guys, and talking guys. to me, and the gnome's going to come in right now. The gnome's coming in. Yeah. Here we go. That yeah. gnome comes in. The gnome is dead. <laughs> okay. So while you're there, um, taking drinks, you're talking with the uh, Joffrey because the bar is just, just because like, he just did he divorce his wife yet? <laughs> no. Um, you you Two don't see her around though. <laughs> um, She's making eggs elsewhere. Yeah, and a uh, an elven man comes in and kind of looks around, spots you guys at the bar, and comes over and says, "I'm sorry, I'm uh, looking for a Sir Durian." <laughs> yes, yes, that's me. <laughs> it is. My um, all right. My my apologies, sir. I am. We we're on a uh, leave time right now. I, you caught me at a bad moment. I apologize. Uh, not at all. Um, <laughs> I dare say people with your reputation need to relax every now and then. Uh, Thank you, sir. Would we be able to um, have a word in private? Worst uh, fucking time ever. Guys, yeah. beat it. Joffrey, um, uh, with your whole group. Ooh. Ooh. That would probably Joffy. be better at this time as well. Joffy, you've got yeah. that you've got that dining room over yonder. Can it, can we use it for a moment? Uh, perhaps a private room. It's set up for like a twenty top party sure, ready we'll, to we'll come in. It's, like, it's, oh, it's no. really just like an open like the bar is just one big open uh, room. I thought, I thought he had a private dining room. Maybe it's a nice place. No. So. Okay, we'll go I say one of our rooms. To my room. No, I don't say it that way. Yeah. I say so. You, you let's go up to my room. I lead up to my room, Travis. Uh, <laughs> what? What? Uh, my God, guys, this shit doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we're going to my we're room. We're arguing about we it. We go to my room. Yeah. So since he was talking to Durian, and Durian kind of waves the two of you over, Durian leads you guys to uh, his room. Um, and I think this bar was yeah, this bar is single level. So you guys go past the bar down the hallway um, into Durian's room, and um, uh, the man turns around and says, "Would you?" Mind if I lock this? No. Sure. Go ahead. You, you may lock it. Sort of have a Thank you. And he uh, locks the door, um, heads over to the window, and kind of closes the uh, blinds and says... Sir, uh, who are you? Ah, who am I? Well... It's Venry! <laughs> yeah, it's not Venry. 
So yeah. we've actually met before, though you may not recognize me. One second. And he uh, oh. he kind of um, puts his hands together and a uh, glow comes over him. Um, and this man, who is uh, an elven man with kind of uh, long blonde hair, um, transforms into an elven woman who you uh, you do recognize. Um, oh, shit, it's Nephany. <laughs> No, it's not Nephany. It's it, not Nephany. No, red. it's not. Can Jesus fucking Christ, guys. <laughs> Shut up for a second. <laughs> I haven't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. Go, what can um, you Go. see uh, Lady Tanif Suderil, one of the uh, counselors of CN, standing yeah, in front yeah, of Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, what was her name? Lady Tanif Suderil? Tanif. T-A-N-N-I-V. I can spell it later if you want. Yeah. Nah, it's okay. Uh, I apologize for uh, my deception, sirs and ladies. Um, Sometimes it's I necessary. Yes. Um, I wanted to meet with you privately. Uh, I hope I haven't caught you at too bad of a time, she says, looking at you kind of seriously, Durian. Just kind of slap his cheek. He'll be fine. He's listening. <laughs> <laughs> As he well, falls asleep on his bed. <laughs> I, I glare at Caben and <laughs> use my charisma to pull a semblance of soberness together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk at all, guys. I'm as yeah. sober as a sudge. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of diplomacy. I could at least pass off as a yeah. a common or sober. Well, you sober. don't have to roll anything yet. Um, Someone's phone's fine. So she's kind of. She kind of looks over uh, over you guys and uh, says, "Well, um, I wasn't expecting you back. Uh, to be honest, I well, Lord Tegan was a uh, a bit quiet on where you all went, but I'm glad to see you're back. I was wondering if your services would be available." My lady, they are probably uh... yes. Glare a moment at Fawn. I say, my lady, it was a it was a a tough job, um, but we're back now, and uh, we have one errand to run. But perhaps these jobs can align. Hmm, well, I certainly hope so. Um, I don't know if we've ever been properly introduced. Uh, I'm Lady Tan of Sudaril. I'm the uh, the Overlord of Ripian, Port City to the north. I um I I I uh, bow and offer my hand. Uh, you know, basically offer my hand. Yeah, yeah she shakes your hand. Um, yeah, you know the whatever is appropriate for the. Yeah, area. yeah. And uh, she looks around and says, "Well, I'm not sure how familiar you are with uh, our nation, but um, we've been dealing with uh, several issues recently. Of course, I believe you came from the south, from Platinus, so." You no doubt know about the conflict down there. Uh, we're also having a few issues up north. Um, In Ariadnish? What? N no, 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 no. Um, piracy is the issue I've come to speak with you about tonight. Mm. Um, there have been a, a large number of pirates in the northern seas recently. and Well, I may need some outside help with this. A lot of our ships have stayed toward the south, uh, trying to, well, to be honest, to, to keep migrant uh, vessels away from our shores. Unfortunately, this has led to more piracy in the north. Um, I thought you might be especially interested in this. Uh, we believe the pirates to be associated with the Black Fang. And why, no. my lady, that you would believe we'd be interested in that? Uh, well, she kind of smiles. Uh, I'm friends with Lady Naburu, and it uh, <laughs> seems you've ended up in her jail. Well, you've ended up in her jail once. You, she says, looking at uh, Caban, twice. It appears that um, you were arrested for, well... For trying to beat up a man you claim to be with the Black Fang. I thought perhaps um, 
it may be extra motivation. Hmm. Okay, Nina's like doing this, like, I'm awfully tempted just to end this once and for all for them. My lady. I can't guarantee that all of their resources are tied up in their pirate fleet. The yeah. Black Fang is an unfortunately large and unsavory organization. My lady, how is it that even with um, uh, population control going on to the south, that such a well-suited port country as CN can't handle some petty pirates? I wish they were petty. And we can certainly handle them close to our shores, but um, once our ships get into the uh, into international waters, especially those going towards Locus or even farther north, it's harder to control. Do you have any indication about where the pirates are based out of? I'm pulling some information together, but I wanted to speak to you first to see if... Well, to gauge your interest in such a job. What would you have us do? That's a good question. I Kill pirates. Uh, Track mm -hmm. them down. Well, I'm not this. sure we'll be able to... I'm not sure the information that we have will be complete, but... If you encounter them, perhaps you could learn more. I'm told you can be very convincing, she says, giving you kind of a, an appraising look, Durian. This is a chance to get rid of one problem, possibly leading on to that problem. Nina, once again, you're speaking nonsense in public, but... Well, Black Fang will lead to the little known that's part of the Black Fang. My lady, um, you've given us much to think about. This is uh, quite off our radar, if you don't mind. Um, we'll consult. Uh, I appreciate this, and I would say that we are at least um, optimistically disposed to assist you. Excellent. There Where would, would we go to for the next step? Uh, to my home city of Ripian. We would... Uh... To attract pirates, one needs, well, unfortunately, to bait them. So, I cargo, could... Cargo and aliases. Cargo I've and aliases, down, indeed. I've been down that road. Or, um, sea lane, as it were. Hmm. I, um... I would be able to, of course, reward you quite handsomely for this. Uh, any pirates you manage to capture or kill would have a price on their head, but if you're able to find where they are based off out of and uh, rid the seas of them truly, I have something that may interest you. Lady Naburu told me that um, the rather unfortunate incident you were involved with, well, was um, precipitated by some ill will, perhaps, that you felt in our country. My lady, I don't know what you're speaking of. <laughs> of course not. Well, I uh, find personally that when one is the person making the rules, these things become less of a problem, yes? I perhaps. just look at her and look at Dorian and I can see where this is going. <laughs> I say, perhaps. Perhaps, I, my lady. I have some land... Uh, not in CN, but um, let's just say that when one invests wisely, you never know what you can come into possession of. 500 acres in the kingdom of uh, Glimmerhaven to the northwest. I would say that with that amount of land, and well, you certainly have a, an honorary title as a Knight Draconis of Platinus. Perhaps, uh, my word can make that a bit more official, yes? A landed knight carries great weight. I look at her for a moment. 
and nod, and I say, um, and for my friends. Well, it would be up to you what to do with this. Uh, a landed knight would be a single person creating a house. Um, you could always advent, uh, you could always establish an adventurer's guild. Um, though that may carry less weight politically, it would allow you a more equal share in the bounty. My lady, but this is, of course, all hypothetical. It would require Certainly. some very hard work, and dangerous work. Please think it not, over. Does not frighten us, my lady. Um, you've given us, given us much to uh, consider and plan for tonight. So, I thank you. Excellent. Um, why don't you think about it for a couple days? I'll return then and gauge your interest more fully. You should be ready, though, uh, to move quickly after that. Fair enough. Very well. I thank you all for your time. And she uh, closes her eyes, starts murmuring some words, and transforms back into the uh, elven man you had seen come in before. Mm. Good day to you all. Sir? Elf nod. Elf nod. He walks to the door, unlocks it, and uh, strides out. In a manly way, <laughs> obviously. In a manly way. Gracefully, hey, um, man. He is an elf. I turn to the party and I say, guys. Durian. To be honest, I'd love to take Nina, care hold of hold on. Before. Let's Cutting get the fuck everyone out. off. Let's get, the, let's get the fuck out of CN. Right now. Agreed. What? Right now. Let's go. Well, we hold on. The ring. God, the ring's not even finished. No, no, no. I mean, not right now, but I mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can take this job or not take it. Let's. We gotta go. The, we're being dragged down here. Let's not take it. Let's get out. It's a sinking ship. We gotta go. Like a pirate ship. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're better. Than, I don't know about. We're better than you glorified all. hitmen. Let's go. I mean, let's go find yeah, something. Wrong, I, I don't paid. mind doing this and getting paid. I, I understand where you're going with this in terms of getting out. You don't want to be tied down. You know the how place. hard I don't it is, want... Nina, for me to turn down a landed title, <laughs> but I will, for the sake of the fact that I've traveled extensively by ship. I'm not. I'm no pirate. No ship captain. Oh, oh. I knew four that was hour coming. limit. Arrgh. I knew it was coming. Keep on, I keep know. On. It's gonna be like, yeah, keep on I know. Issues. I, 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 Cabe and I think you get it, but this is this is too sweet. There's something. It's wrong. We gotta go. We, we let's 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 do something good. Escort these people to the north. Um, these this this farmer people and let's go investigate Swiftland's ruins. Let's this is what I was talking about about the choices for ourselves um, versus for what other people want of us. Oh, I I understand why you're going with that, Durian. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to just take care of this and not care about the land just because the Black Fane, and I'm sure they've pissed you off enough. That I feel maybe feel the same way, Us but off. just to deal with this. Us. It's not just me, Nina. Nina, the Black Fang is not just running some a couple pirate ships. If we sink some ships, which by the way, none of us are sailors. Yeah, we man. I don't like the idea of being not on land. Thank you. Yeah, I know. But at I've the same been time at there. sea. I've got some experience, but I, I know enough to know that I'm useless. As a crew member, as a, a fighter, unless a ship decides to board another ship. It's out of my control. I don't like this. This puts everything out of our control. I, I agree with you. I don't like being on a ship either, but their home base itself is no. what it sounds like we're supposed to No, the pirates. Do we the it. pirates we don't base. know where their home, home base is. Well, it's got to be on land. It's not like it's got a giant boat the size of. It could be. It town. could be the Isle of Laurent. It could be in Platinus, in the chaos of the South. It could be an underground society in Sienna. We don't know. Oh. And and attacking some pirates, even if they're the Black Fangs pirates, is not going to cripple them. It's going to oh. set them back. But that's it. I, I don't like Jeez. it. 
she said that they were pirating to the north. That would assume that that would at least to me assume that the base is located on the shoreline somewhere from at least here upwards. Ooh, guys, do we, we if we're gonna we can discuss it all night, but are we gonna do it or not? I don't like it. No. I don't wanna do this. No. I don't wanna go on a boat. Wait. No. We should we should discuss more extensively tomorrow what our plan of action is. We should is not with this no, no, listen, hear me out. We should discuss ex, uh, discuss more extensively tomorrow what our plan of action is as to how much how how quickly we tell the lady whose word I can't read on my notes. Um, how much we tell the counselors now that we will or won't do it. But I think we're in agreement, Nina, unless you really want to make a, a plea here that this is not a job for us. This is out of our league. Or this is not in our interest area. Well, I agree with you it's not in our interest area. Like, ship battles, if I'm exactly the same with you, Durian. I'm not a sailor. But we don't have to fight them on ship if we can find their base. And this once yeah. comes down to, I'd love to just fix this problem of the Black Fang so they're never a thorn in our side ever again. This Nina, is going to fix that problem. Yeah, you don't it's fix not, that overnight. It's not going to. Nina. It could lead to the gnome, though. It could. It could. The gnome's just a, He's always said he's just a messenger, Take, though. Taking down a Black Fang pirate isn't going to make them go away. It's going to make them more mad at us. Nina. I'm... I'm I don't want to rub this in. I mean this delicately. I honestly do. But your last memory has you on land uh, eight months ago now. A year ago almost. You've only been on land. I've traveled the sea. I've dealt with what the sea is like. I'm not a sailor. I've been a passenger I've made my own way. I've survived. It's a different boat. No pun intended. Uh, no pun intended. I've been on a boat. What? That's not yeah. a pun. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no pun. I've been on a boat. No, no, I mean, that's how I got up. to the party. I've been on you, several ships. But not you, like you the took some short vessels. Morning. We're talking about a sea lane that is immensely populated by a lot of unknown Guys, why, why, are we, why are we still talking about this? None of us want to do it. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to point out that... I'm just trying to point out to Nina that... that, no, like, that it, it would, like Nina said, it would be great to shove the Black Fang off. And, none of us... None I of don't us think, confident sailors. Right. None of us. Not even me. I know yeah. enough to know that I'm I, not. I don't think the gain for risk of this is worth it, and it's an area out of our comfort zone, can so we, I don't want to do we, this. Can we approach it in a way where it doesn't involve us on a boat? Like, we don't no. need to find it's a boat not, to get to the hideout. No the hideout that, would be on land. How do you hunt pirates it's, on a boat? How do we find our hideout? Their hideout. And again, like, none of us want to do this. Their hideout oh. is likely on an island or in a hidden alcove that's not accessible by land. That's the benefit of piracy. Well, on a separate note... Like, I don't necessarily want to leave CN until we at least know that Mizuti is safe. That could be weeks. We can send word. Like, like look, we we already told Brahmin's family we're going to escort them to Ravnish. We're not going to wait around for weeks and then, then take them. That's still... It's, okay, refresh my memory. Is that actually still part of CN or is that actually into that next country? Ariadne is a new country. That's another country. Another country. Oh, okay. We can but send it, it's word. like on the border, though. Ish. We could even come back to know. CN after that if we want to. But I, I don't feel comfortable doing this job or anything close to it. Uh, I also, like I said, if we can avoid the water, I'd be happy to. I agree even with you. With, I don't want with that. or without water. If it was just a gang of roving bandits, the Black Fang, like we're. Yesterday, when when Darren talked to us the past couple of days, like you said, we're we can do shit. I'm not. I don't want to be known as a hired bow to kill people. I agree. I don't like killing humans or elves or dwarfs either. I know they're bad. I don't have qualms of them dying. I don't have qualms of killing them if they were to attack us. But I don't. 
I don't want to be known as our band of people you hire when you want to off some bad people. Let's go. Let's go look well, at the ruins. Let's go look at our Electrum sh scroll we found. Let's go find something big. Let's go slay a, a dragon again. <laughs> I don't want to kill pirates. Well, to be it's honest, boring. I'd love to go slay dragons, but apparently all of Tegan is against it. How is he against slaying a dragon? He has people going off to kill dragons right now. Yeah, no. I, I tried to get us in on that, to be honest. No, Lady Lasantha tried to get us in on that, and... No, 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 that I was mean, the other day. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm not sorry. you. Not, nothing on you, I'm just saying. That happened, there's no... Yeah. The other Kevin, day when I spoke to my private, okay. I tried to get us in. Kevin, I honestly... I do honestly appreciate what you're saying. <laughs> it It means a lot. I. That's what I'm trying to say, is that... We're not just hired guns anymore. And all the more reason not to go out on some boat and try and be pirate hunters. Because no, we're not... Guys, we're not that. We could try... We could make it happen. We're competent. We can maybe make it work. Hell, oh. we may still come back to this, but... We have our own goals. If Juan's not a fan of this... Our own goals plus, could you as a party. On I, I look, I in a look boat. at like no, I don't. So, so, so I I feel oh, like this fun. is going a bit circular for yeah. a while. So no, 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 I just want to say one last thing. I look at Fawn and I just say like our own goals, but as a party, not as an individual, right? And we'll end it there. And done. Alright, No boats. No boats. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a great place to end. Thanks, guys, for watching. So, thanks everyone for joining. Oh, yeah. Team No um, Boat. Team No <laughs> Boat is right. Team No Boat. We still need a nickname, by the way. We never got one. Team No Boat. Um, I like the nickname. What is that? Fawn, Fawn something unturned. Your Untra handwriting is shit. <laughs> I know. It's, also backwards. It's, it's also, also backwards. it's also backwards. I'm... Read it backwards. Fawn untrustworthy. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, that's one word. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> little spoiler. Little Maybe spoiler Dorian might die in his yeah. sleep. I then, no, case. I don't know that. It's, no, no. It's, it's just the final note. That's the takeaway about the final comment I made to Fawn. I say we're, it's about the party, not her own goals. And she yeah. didn't answer. <laughs> Okay. okay. So well, thanks. <laughs> thanks session, for watching, guys. guys. Um, if you like the show, please give us a follow. We appreciate you guys watching, and we love playing some DD in front of some live audience people. It makes it a uh, makes it fun. Um, in that case, are we done? Are we are we good for uh, next Monday? Uh, let me check my calendar. Hold on. I think so. Tentative, yes. Yeah, so, absolutely. Tentative for what? Next week or? Next the week, yeah. the the tenth for you, Josh. The ninth. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Well, I think we're good. Please join us next Monday again, same time, same great place, and um, we'll see what the party decides to do next. So, again.